the Ericaism of the day. Uh, every now and again, you need to do a self check, self evaluation. How am I doing? And I, you know, did one on myself after not well. Okay, so stellar week is two weeks ago, uh, last week sometime, and I was just. I, I had to acknowledge the fact that I was a little stressed, you know, a little overwhelmed. And sometimes you're stressed, your stress doesn't play out in your actions. You're not like frazzled and shaky, but in your mind, you're not settled and you're not at peace. And I wasn't um, just worrying, you know, is everything going to work out? The schedule is really crazy. I have something big to do every day. I need to be fully healthy, fully engaged. Uh, you know, kids having programs at school and things going on. And so I need to just take a moment. And so what I did, I was in my car and I was going, Lord, I think I'm, yeah, Lord, I think I'm, I think I'm a little bit stressed out. And so I said, Lord, I surrender everything to you. There's no way that I can get on the radio and sing songs to encourage people and not make sure that I myself am not encouraged. And for just a moment, I wasn't. Um, just moving and going kind of on autopilot because once you've done something for so long, it's easy to do that. But it is very necessary to take a moment and assess your own heart. Where am I? Am I am I still enjoying this? Am I still happy? And I thank God for my husband who asked me on a regular basis, are you still enjoying this? Do you want to stop? Do you want to shift? Is it too much for you? Do you feel overwhelmed? Just the fact that he checks on me makes me feel really great. But I know I have a responsibility to check on myself and make sure that I'm okay. A lot of times we put the responsibility on people that we love. Nobody checked on me and I was dealing with this you're responsible for you. And yes, there are people around that care and love for you, but you are responsible for you. And you know when something's off, pay attention to how you feel. Don't just keep going and going and going when something's not quite right. Maybe you're not boohoo crying or sobbing, but something's not quite right. You don't feel present. You don't feel there. You don't feel excited. You're just kind of going with the flow. Don't just go with the flow. Life is too short. Take every moment and soak it up and enjoy it. Live your best life. And that means you have to pay attention. Pay attention to you. Pay attention to that little ache that's been in your left hip for weeks and weeks and you've not done anything about it. Go to the doctor. Pay attention to the fact that you're always tired at a specific time of day. Take a nap. You've got to take care of yourself. No one can be, you can't help anyone if you're not your best you. And so that's what I know for sure. And so I thank God for people around me who understand that and will say, you know, Erica, take a nap. You're a little grumpy today. You tired? I go, yeah, I'm a little, a little overwhelmed. <laughs> Even my daughter sometimes, Krista, I'll be fussing about something and she will literally grab my hand and go, God, I thank you for my mommy. I thank you that she's enjoying <laughs> us and we're enjoying her. It's just the best ever. Take care of you. And, and as you take care of you, the people around you will take better care of you because they will follow your lead. If you don't take care of yourself, then they won't know what to do. If you say, you know what, I'm not feeling well then they won't know to ask you, hey, are you feeling okay? They follow your lead. They will treat you how you treat you. Are you treating yourself well? Are you taking good care of yourself? Are you acknowledging when you're low? Are you acknowledging when you need a refresh or a recharge? Are you giving yourself a pass to say, I need a nap. I'm going to take a break, guys. I'm, I'm not enjoying this anymore. Whatever it is, make sure that you are taking the time to be your absolute best self all right i'm trying my best i don't always make the mark but i'm gonna try my best to be my best at all times and i hope you do the same that's my erica ism for the day ladies and gentlemen